Hi, this is Anne from DuckTapeAndDenim.com, and we just got back from a treasure hunting trip, and we're going to share our haul with you. Okay, we started this morning in Cleburne, which is where our two booths are in two different shops, and we started at Goodwill there in Cleburne. It's a really small Goodwill but occasionally they have good stuff. Actually, usually they have pretty good furniture. Today we didn't find any furniture, which might be a good thing because we didn't have much room in the Jeep. So I'm gonna start with a shirt that Glenn found for himself. It looks like it's in like brand new condition. It is a Columbia. It's like one of those hiking shirts with the breathable, what do they call it? Uh, advanced evaporation. It was $6.50, but a good deal for that shirt. Um, I bought this little basket. This is kind of unique for me, but since we're in an antique mall now, I'm looking for more old stuff. I'm gonna save this and put it in the antique mall in spring. It was $3.99. And I just really checked close to make sure all the little flowers were intact. None of them were broken because um, that's what usually breaks on these. They cover the, the bottom with a sticker, the price sticker, so you can see it was $3.99, but I couldn't really tell if there's a maker's mark there or not. When I looked them up online, um, I saw a few that look just like this that say they're made in Italy, so I'm gonna do some more research on that, but that's gonna go to probably Red Horse Mall in the spring. Then I bought see this little bag that says $2.99 on it. It had four things in it. Four clear glass things in there. Three of them were clear jars. I think they're salt shakers, but none of them have lids on them. So I'm going to use these for crafting and probably like in the spring, I like to put wildflowers in these because they're so tiny. You can just put a few little wildflowers in each one, or I might sell them. I'm not sure, but I really bought it for this this little tiny toothpick holder. We used to have one like it when I was growing up, so that's kind of a sentimental thing. I don't know that it's valuable or anything, but um, I might keep it, and I might, if I can find the, other, the real one that we had when I was growing up, I'll probably sell this in the antique shop too. Okay, the next thing is kind of funny. This tray here, it's a Fire King. I don't know if you can see the, can you see the Fire King on the bottom at all? No. And it almost looks like milk glass, which I keep saying I'm not going to buy anymore. But um, because it wasn't selling for a long time, in the last two months, I have sold almost all of my milk glass. <laughs> so maybe I should start buying it again. But this one was $2.99, and it's got gold around the edge. And I just thought it'd be pretty for Christmas in the booth, and I will put, like, the ornaments and stuff in it. It's also going to be for sale, but that's why I bought this one. Then we went to... The antique mall, I saw another one just like this. It was $12. We went to the next antique mall, I saw another one exactly like this, and it was $20. And then we went, so that's three. We went to another store, I forgot which store it was. Another one later, I saw another one. And then, <laughs> the last Goodwill of the day, I saw another one. It was $3.99. It's like, okay, I have to buy this. I saw five of these exact same trays today, which I don't think I've ever seen this tray before. And now today I saw five. So, so I thought that must be a sign that I should buy it. But I couldn't have bought all five of them because like I said, one of them was 12 and one was 20. And they're not even that valuable of a plate because you can buy them online for, on eBay for $5, $7 plus shipping. So so, um, that was what we got in Cleburne at the Goodwill. Then we went to Stephenville because we haven't been, we've been to Stephenville before, but we've never been to the antique and thrift stores there. The first place we went to after lunch was second time around consignment. I spent $16 there and that was a really good place. Everything was really cheap and... I bought some just random pieces, this little creamer, um, Harmony House, Meadow Bloom. Is that focused? Okay. I don't know anything about it. It was 
a dollar. So I bought it. And then this cute little Le Creuset pitcher that's kind of an ombre color, yellow, darker at the bottom. But you can see down at the uh, bottom the mark. And it's in really good shape, so I got that. That'll probably go in the Antique Mall in the spring too, since it's a nice yellow color. This, I just love the lines of that. You, there's some letters on the bottom, but I can't read what it says. Um, I just thought that was really pretty, so. That may either be in the uh, Christmas, in the shop at Christmas or in the spring. This cute little, um, I, I'm assuming it's a sugar bowl. It's got a lid. It says made in Japan on the bottom. I don't know anything about it. I just thought it was cute. So I don't know where this is going to go yet. Then I bought milk, gra milk glass that I said I wasn't going to buy, but I bought this one because can you, Hand me that one over there. I think they're exactly alike. I didn't even check before the video. Yep. This is the one that I keep on my desk with all my colored pencils in it, but look at this one. And it was a dollar, so it's like I had to buy it because it matches the one I have. And now I can put my pins in this one and my colored pencils in that one. And then we found a jewelry cabinet. It's kind of dirty inside, pink. Uh, there's no stains, it's just dust. So it's gonna clean up pretty good and I'm gonna paint that. I'll get that out of the way. It's gonna join my collection of other jewelry boxes under the table that probably aren't gonna get painted until after Christmas because between now and Christmas is pretty crazy. All right, that was second time around consignment in Stephenville. The next place we went, I asked her if there were any other thrift stores or antique shops that we should go to in Stephenville, and she mentioned one, but she said there's not really any thrift stores in town, so. The next one was CJ's Spurs and Thangs, and literally that's how it's spelled, Spurs and Thangs, not things. Um, it was mostly Western stuff. They, they had Western wear, it was a lot of clothes, um, boots and saddles and all kinds of horse stuff that I don't even know what it was. <laughs> a lot of Western stuff, but I found these glasses and if you've seen my other hauls recently, I've been collecting these kind of uh, 70s glasses style. I don't think these are the same, made by the same um, company. They're a little bit different and they don't look like there is, the quality is as nice. There, you can see the seams more and every now and then there's like this little bubble in the glass. So I don't think they're made by the same people. These might be a knockoff, but I got eight glasses for $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then I got six of these little bowls that are the same pattern, but they're pink. I can't tell, is that showing up good? Okay. So those two things are also gonna go in the booth in spring. This, I might do like a pink thing for Valentine's Day in the, in the booths too. So that might be where, where those go. And these bowls right here, six bowls for $5 and then eight glasses for $10. So that's what I spent there. It was $16. Then from there, we went to the Antique Mall. It's called Hometown Antique Mall in Stephenville. And we walked in and walked down the first aisle and thought, we're not gonna buy anything because the prices were really, really high. I mean, higher than I think I've seen anywhere else, which kind of surprised me being in Stephenville. But we walked around anyway because we were looking for uranium glass. I forgot, did we see it? Oh yeah, we saw some cabinets. Black I should have taken some pictures because I had the black light and it was all glowing, but it was expensive. It was like the cheapest thing in there, I think was $20. So <laughs> we're still on the lookout for more uranium glass, but I found these green glasses. These were only $4 a piece and 
they're kind of a similar green to the other ones that I got in this pattern, but this color. So we'll be using these for around Christmas time, or they may go in the booth. I haven't decided yet because I've been buying a lot of glasses and there's just two of us. So, <laughs> so they were only $4 a piece. So I spent $16 at the antique mall. Then that was pretty much it for Stephenville. Not a whole lot. No, no real thrift stores at all. There were consignment stores in the antique mall. So we drove to Granbury and we only had time for one store there. It was Goodwill and that was like the best, best place of the day. The Cleburne Goodwill is, is okay, but it's small. The Goodwill in Granbury was, was pretty big and it had a lot of stuff. I mean, it took us a while to go through. So that's where I got the second Fire King dish. Again, they're both going to be in the Christmas display. I'll probably use them to display Christmas ornaments and stuff. I got a Santa. I don't usually buy stuff like this, but it was $3. And I feel like I need more Christmassy stuff. And um, that'll probably go to House of Vintage because I feel like we need more Christmassy stuff there. I got these two. Um, what are these? I forgot who makes these. They're plastic, but these are also like plastic 70s sconces that you put on the wall. I've seen some really cool ones done on barn wood in a frame. So <laughs> I didn't tell Glenn yet, but <laughs> these are actually projects for him to make something out of. And then I found this cute little basket. It looks like leaves down at the bottom, but it's just white and gold. And I thought if I stick with my white and gold um, theme, again, the stickers on the bottom, I don't know, I don't know who made it, but it was $2.99. So Christmas decorations in it. I kept with my gold theme for Christmas in a clear Christmas tree. It was, this was 99 cents. So got that. I'm gonna save the big thing for last. I found three Corel plates. I think the pattern is Daisy. I'm not sure if I'm remembering right, but that's one of the 70s things that I've been looking for. I found this piece of pottery. It says on the back, let me pull off the sticker a little bit. Deer Trail Pottery. Rio Dosa, New Mexico. And I, I just thought it was really pretty. It's very Christmassy, but it's not Christmas color. So it could just be winter, but it was two forty nine, So I got that. And then Glenn found this. This is a cute little deer diary box. It was only $1.99. It's scratched up pretty good, but, um, Sorry, I had to smell it to see. It looks like a little cedar box, little cedar chest box. So I might put some felt on the bottom, leave the cedar or so you can see it. It looks pretty nice inside. And I love this old, the old latch on it. And Dear Diary is actually burned in, but it's kind of engraved too. So I think if I painted it and distressed it, I. It, I think that would show through still. So I'm going to try that. That's going to be a project box. Then I bought this kind of random thing. It's pretty ugly right now, but I bought it mainly because it has the turntable on the bottom. So we're always needing something for um, displays and stuff. So this is going to be some kind of display. I don't know what kind yet, but, <laughs> but you know, I just, a lot of times I buy stuff that I like and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And I'll just hold on to it until I can figure out. <laughs> the cat just came in and she's not being very quiet. She's not being obedient. <laughs> this was the biggest thing we bought today. This planter, planter holder maybe. So this will be nice again in the spring. I'm already trying to think ahead till um, the next season. We've got all our Christmas stuff in the shops right now. And 
It's like, what am I going to do when Christmas is over and either that sells or I have to take the Christmas stuff out? I've got, I've got to have something to replace it. So I'm getting my brain around, well, what am I going to do next already? So we may have a little garden theme in the spring. We may have some pink Valentine stuff. Um, I would love to hear back from y'all. Which, what was your favorite find of the day? Um, let me know in the comments below. We appreciate you watching us and we appreciate your comments and likes and shares and just go ahead and let me know which was your favorite find for the day and let us know if you like to see these haul videos and we hope to share more with you in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye. <music>